so herein i will explain to you how to represent a sine wave in terms of an amplitude frequency graph by the end of this lecture you will have a better understanding of how fourier transform works on images so let's have a quick refresh of our memory on sine waves from the previous lecture sine waves are fundamental in understanding the fourier transform a sine wave is an oscillating waveform which has frequency amplitude and phase so here there is a sine wave that is given who whose amplitude is 3 units and the frequency of this sine wave is 1 cycle per second it means that in the time duration of 1 second it com there is a one complete cycle so hence we say that frequency is 1 cycle per second and the height of this sine wave is 3 units hence amplitude is 3 units so for this sine wave let's create an amplitude frequency graph and this graph will help us visualize the frequency component of our sine wave so in an amplitude versus frequency graph on the vertical axis we have the amplitude and on the horizontal axis we have the frequency so here is an amplitude versus frequency graph given wherein on the vertical axis we have the amplitude and the horizontal axis we have the frequency now let's represent the sine wave in terms of amplitude versus frequency graph so here i am considering the same sine wave here whose frequency is 1 cycle per second and whose amplitude is 3 units and phase is 0 radians we will mark a point of 1 hertz on the frequency axis to represent the frequency of the sine wave and raise it to 3 units because the amplitude is 3 units here on the amplitude axis this will represent our sine wave with a frequency of 1 hertz or 1 cycle per second and an amplitude of 3 units okay so here is the amplitude versus frequency graph given for this particular sine wave whose frequency is 1 unit and whose amplitude is 3 units now in the similar fashion let's see few more examples i have a sine wave here which is of frequency 3 cycle per second so in one second there are three complete cycles of sine wave here so the frequency is 3 cycle per unit and the height of the sine wave is 2 units hence amplitude is 2 unit to represent this in amplitude frequency graph at a frequency of 3 units i i say that the amplitude is 2 units similarly i have another sine wave here which has a frequency of 8 cycle per second and the amplitude of this sine wave is 2 units this can be represented in amplitude frequency graph at the frequency of 8 unit the amplitude is 2 units now let us consider all the sine waves which has a frequency of 1 cycle per unit 3 cycle per second as well as 8 cycle per second and an amplitude of 3 2 and 2 respectively now if i add this up add all these sine waves i get a wave of this form this is a complex wave for which the frequency and amplitude is difficult to analyze so in this case what can be done is that here is where the magic of fourier transform comes in fourier transform allows us to analyze these complex signals the fourier transform takes a signal decomposes it into some of sinusoid waves of different frequency and amplitude and this analysis is very crucial in image processing now let's assume that we have this complex signal using fourier transform we can represent this complex signal as sum of different frequency component okay so these are the three frequency component whose sum will lead me to this particular complex wave now considering this complex wave we will see how do we represent this complex wave in terms of our amplitude frequency graph so when i decompose this complex signal into different sinusoidal waves i get one sine wave whose frequency is 1 cycle per second and an amplitude of 3 units there is another sine wave whose frequency is 3 cycle per second and an amplitude of 2 units and there is another sine wave whose frequency is 8 cycle per second and amplitude of 2 units this can be represented hence this complex wave can be represented in amplitude versus frequency graph as this which is clearly signifies that there is a sine wave whose frequency is 1 cycle per unit and whose amplitude of is 3 unit and there is another sine wave 
whose frequency is three uh, cycle per second and an amplitude of two units, and another sine wave whose frequency is eight cycle per second and amplitude of two units. So this is pretty easy to analyze compared to uh, analyzing this particular wave complex signal, wherein the frequency component and the amplitude value is very difficult to analyze. So here, once we have this amp amplitude versus frequency graph, this can be represented in form of pixels, wherein each bar in this graph represent the intensity of pixel. So here I have a frequency of one cycle per second with an amplitude of three units. So I have a pixel of highest amplitude in this case because here the highest amplitude is three units. So I'll represent a pixel with pure white color considering that three is my highest, uh, highest amplitude or highest intensity of the pixel. Now I have another frequency of three cycle per second with an amplitude of two units. So I'll have a little gray shaded um, pixel which is at frequency 3. There is another pixel which is of same intensity or same amplitude that is 2 units with a frequency of 8 cycle per second. So at this point I have another pixel which, is, which has the same intensity of this or same amplitude as of this pixel. So this is how pixel values are represented when you are converting images from spatial domain to frequency domain. Now this is the case of one dimensional uh, Fourier transform. We will see the same with a simple example given here. So here I have considering a one dimensional image or a series of pixel values which has a gray color and then a pure white color again a gray color and then it is changing to black and then again it is changing to gray. So this is the change of intensities of pixel values in the image given. It just a one row image, one range of pixel, wherein we have this series of variation of color. This can be represented uh, as gray, white, gray, black, and gray. Let's let's give assign some uh, amplitude or fre uh, and frequency value to this. So I'm saying this is a frequency of one cycle per second. In one cycle, there is a uh, complete cycle of sine wave, which is varying from gray to white and then white to gray and then to black and then to gray whose amplitude is 3 that is the height of the sine wave is 3 in this case. So let us represent this as a sine wave uh, with these values given here because um, gray represent a 0 and uh, white represent a 3 that is the highest value and then again gray is 0 black is the direct opposite of white so I will give a value minus 3 to it and gray is uh, 0. So with this we can represent it as a sine wave which is starting from 0 and then moving on to 3 that is my highest amplitude because amplitude is 3 here and it is coming back to 0 going to black that is the opposite of the amplitude amp the highest intensity value that is minus 3 and coming back to 0. So this is uh, the frequency was given as 1 cycle per second. So at 1 complete cycle per second it is changing from grey to white white to gray again and then to black and then to gray. So if I have a sine wave in this form for this particular uh, change in values of the pixel value how will I represent it as an uh, amplitude versus frequency graph. So I can say that for this one cycle per unit the amplitude is three units because the highest value of this uh, particular pixel range or this sine wave is three units. And this can be represented as a pixel of at one, frequ one frequency that is frequency of 1 hertz. That is a frequency of 1 cycle per second. I have a pixel of highest amplitude which is equal to 3. This is in the case of a one dimensional image. One dimensional series of values we provide. Now generally our images are two dimensional. So when we have a two dimensional uh, image we have to perform Fourier transform row wise as well as column wise. So let us take an example wherein row wise I have uh, a, a wave of 1 cycle per meter and its amplitude let us assume as 3. So I will have a pixel value whose intensity is 3. Similarly at the column when you travel through the column 
you have a frequency of 3 cycle per meter and its, its amplitude assume it is 2. So, I have a pixel of 2 amplitude of 2 units. So, this is how 2D image Fourier transform is computed or calculated and if you take an image, I have a famous LENA image here wherein when I, con when I transform it into frequency domain, I get pixel values or the intensity values or I, I say the frequency values in this, in this form. So, in the next session, I will explain to you how do you analyze these frequency values in the Fourier transform. What does uh, these white patches here mean and what does the black component in the frequency domain signify and how do I analyze this? To extract features from this, what is my best method as well as we will also see how do you extract low frequency component as well as high frequency component from this image you get when you convert an image from spatial domain to frequency domain. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel for more exciting contents on Fourier transform. Thanks for watching.